And welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time. What's better than one vibe? Two Yay. vibes. Yay. Pedal show. My name is Kapoor. Hey, welcome along. That's two vibes. Yeah. Hey, I'm Alex. I'm going to check out the VB2 today. Uh, please hit like and subscribe on the channel. Give us a thumbs up. Ding the bell. And yeah. All that stuff. That'd be all awesome. that shebang. So, duo vibe. Uh, two vibes. Yes. For the price of one. Uh, so this was right from the start as well. Sent to us by Andrew at Mostronics. Hey, Andrew. Mm -hmm. Uh, so it is what we'd call a sponsored video. Now we did not long ago. We did a video of the VB1, the solo vibe, yep. or just the vibe as it's called. You can watch the video here. Is it? Oh, it's, <laughs> I didn't prepare it earlier, but it's here. Um, this is basically two of them in one, but with a few extra benefits. So to hear the pedal, we're going through one of Andrew's Monstronics amp switches, Cherry Tone OTS MIDI head, and two notes to Peter Captor X for the cab simulations yes and then from there into your ear holes uh, okay so basically what you have okay 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 do it okay are you ready okay okay <clears throat> okay so you have what's called spd1 and spd2 so basically you got you got to think of that is one vibrato that is the second vibrato that is a dry um knob where you can mix in some dry so it doesn't go completely dry but it goes completely wet and mixing in some dry. And you've got a yeah. volume where it can actually boost the output a bit as well. Because often when you have fluctuations in, you know, tone, yeah. pitch stuff, and you know, it 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 seems like your volume drops. So you can you can make up with it for that. Now, you also have this little switch here called SPD1 and SPD2. This is where it gets a little bit complicated, and we'll 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 get into that as we go along. Basically, you can either have the two LFOs, there's two LFOs in there. To control each vibrato, yep. you can either have them. One can one LFO controls both, so they're kind of synced, or you can have them uh, two separate LFOs controlling them, so that you can have you can kind of create polyrhythms almost because you, you, they're totally independent speed controls. And then, when you're on the setting, and you can follow that little orange line here, when you're on the SPD one setting, with so where you have one LFO controlling everything. You also have this other switch where you can actually flick the two vibratos in and out of phase, uh, which gives you also different kind of sounds. And, and, and lastly, you also have an uh, external expression pedal input, um, which controls the LFO of speed one, uh, of like the first one. Yep. Um, so you can have that via expression pedal. We'll plug that in later on as well. Plus, you also have internal dip switches where you can turn the overall um, speed of uh, LFO 1 or LFO 2 up. So you can make it even faster if you want. But we'll get into all that as we go along. Let's start off, right, with uh, this on SPD 1 setting. We're in phase, and we have SPD 2 and depth for the second vibrato turned completely off. So really all we're hearing at the moment is vibrato 1. Cool. Uh, and then I'm gonna introduce the depth of vibrato 2 so you can hear what happens when they're synced and how that sounds. Yeah. So that control at the moment doesn't do anything, basically. So what I did, I, I added a little bit of dry signal into it before. Uh, and then I also added the second vibrato. Now, the way it sounds to me, it's you've got a one vibrato, and then you've got the other vibrato running sort of offset to it. Uh, 
Mm. So they kind of go, when you've yes. got a peak on one, you've got a trough on the other and vice versa, right? When they're in phase. Uh, so by doing that, you get almost, again, more like a, almost like a, a, a univibe mm. kind of sound. So they're synced, but not in sync with each other. So that one's offset. One's offset, yes. Yeah. So it's, you've got the one, the one, you know, and then the other one goes the opposite, mm. right? Um, so again, just if you just strum, like strum a chord... So that, that's just the one, and now I'm going to introduce the second one to it, and it's in that the gaps of the one, the other one appears. So you've got the two vibratos, right? Mm. Now, another thing you can do now is uh, they can go out of phase. So it will cancel certain things. So, I mean, for lack of a better word, this is almost a faux through zero vibrato, <laughs> even though sure. there is no zero, really. Yeah. But, I mean, because you're cancelling certain bits out, right? When you, when you reverse phases, you can cancel certain things out as you're doing it. And that sounds like this. Which sounds like this. So this is, again, the same setting we had just had. Quite a few different sounds, even just with that, right? Um, and you get, yeah, you get. It's it's an interesting sort of sound. It's mm. a, it's definitely unique. Yeah, as definitely. far as I can tell. Most now, the next thing you can now do is you can go to flick this little switch up to SPD two. Now, what that does is it engages the second LFO, which controls the speed of the second vibrato. So now you have the two vibratos working completely independent from each other, speed wise. Now. The in in sync and out of sync phase thing doesn't work anymore. So that only works on the SPD one right setting. So when one LFO controls both, now we have the two LFOs being completely separate, right? So let's if we for example turn up both of them the the, the depth or kind of mix of it really all the way up, uh, and we have one completely slow, one completely fast. This is what it sounds like. I might play an F chord because it's annoying. G. <laughs> So if you just drum a chord, just hold a chord. So you're creating these polyrhythms, basically, yeah. because you have the one speed and then the other speed. And you can set, I mean, you can have them both faster and one a lot faster. And it just creates, you've got to find a certain spot that kind of works. But I think to me, if you have one fairly slow and one fairly fast with the depth both on both of them quite high up, it has this kind of, again, quite a unique sound to it. Yeah. Unique sort of polyrhythmic sound to it. Unless that been that thing with, um, like, delays having stereo, de maybe one's quarter notes, the other one's triplets. Yeah, and then you're getting the two, yeah. 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 It gives you this sort of, hmm. yeah. Well, let's have a listen to that. And now I'll, I'll play around with the dry signal a little bit. Okay. <laughs>
like anything else, is it? No, it sounds it's quite interesting. Now, uh, you can also plug in an expression pedal. So this is a, an all blood noise endeavors, like a slidey thing, but you can just yeah. do a foot controlled expression pedal in this as well. You need a TRS one. Uh, you plug it into here. In the side hole. In the side hole. Yeah. And now that controls the speed of uh, the first LFO. Mm. Um, so now by moving that, hang on, let's, let's stick it, let's put it. Okay, let's do it. There, all right. There we go. Should be able to see it. that you can so that way you can find the speed and maybe even find polyrhythms to kind of work for you um, is, yeah like um accentuate chords or so that's that is. now lastly there are internal dip switches yep. where you can speed up the whole lfo right so it gives you a slightly faster lfo now um here's here's a, a do you have a tool little pointy thing i prepared earlier okay. now if we take this and uh, you can now see the double-sided gaffer tape um, here actually let's have it the right way around is it gonna work the right way around no probably not okay we're back to front but it doesn't matter here you have the two um, LFOs right now there's two switches for each because you have two points per LFO anyway the way it says in a manual is basically you flick both switches up and both switches down if you want it faster so by now moving um, let's Actually, let's just go back to the one LFO thing. So we're now just SPD one again. Uh, and the first one is the one that, that one. Now, so with this, if we set it now to the fastest speed, so you can hear it. So that, these two switches control the first LFO. So play chord and then you can switch. And I'll switch between them. Right, so it goes a little bit faster. Also, the slowest point. So if we're going now to the slowest setting, Way downtown. Um, it does the same thing, right? So it slows it down a little bit. So you can, for example, I don't know, let's do the second one. Let's flick it up. Because you have you have that separate for each yep. each um, LFO. So now what you can do is you can have a you can have an even faster LFO for the second LFO. Cowboy songs. For cowboy songs. Yeah. But I mean it gives you it gives you variation again as well. You can have if you want it especially if you're using the two together, having one maybe going a little bit faster even gives you different options of sounds and tone and, and all that sort of stuff. It just makes it go yeah. faster. But I mean basically that's that. And I mean you can with yes. the volume as well, you can crank the volume a bit and boost the amp with it. There's a bit of volume there, so you can you can boost the front end of the amp. Groovy. So I mean that's basically that. So you've got, I don't th and I don't think I've seen another effect that does that. I think that's a quite a unique thing. So you've got basically two vibratos, which are magnetone style vibratos. So it's based on a magnetone amp vibrato, which has almost got a little bit of univibe esqueness to it, or like a harmonic tremolo kind of that sort yeah. of where there is some. Not just pitch, but also some to tone kind of thing going on. Um, you have the two. You can either have them synced, uh, offset or not offset, or you can have them completely independently. You can control either the speed, if you have them synced, the speed of all of it, 
or the speed of just the first LFO via an expression pedal. And it can set internally one of the two or both of them to be faster or slower. So quite a versatile pedal. What do you guys think? Yeah. Obviously a lot a bit of talking because it's a bit involved with yeah. The, um, yeah. the little switches. Yeah. And, um, but I think it's, yeah, like its own thing. It's quite a unique sounding pedal, does that's it, for sure. Does it well? Yeah. Comments and thumbs up. Let us know uh, what your thoughts are below. And um, Big thank you to Andrew at Mostronics. And I'm going to put up a Mostronics uh, oh, pedals sweet. playlist right at the end. Sweet. Links below to Instagram, Facebook, and a podcast. Check them out. Playlist. <laughs>